That's right guys, Ah, oh, yes, what's up guys, BTBS here, I probably should have said that first. Uh, welcome to Papers Please, uh, I'm probably not going to be doing a full let's play on this game, it's just so incredible I had to show you guys it. So um, first thing, I love this music, this music is absolutely awesome, as far as I'm concerned, brilliant music. It's, it really feels like oppressive and Soviet. So um, yes, if you haven't seen this game before, uh, it's quite a new game, came out on Steam a couple days ago, and it is, uh, it's a puzzle game uh, in which you play a border operative, so you work on the border, um, oh, okay that was minimum volume on there, so yes it's a puzzle game based around letting people into a country or not letting them in, uh, I want to start a new game, I've already actually, I've played quite a bit of this, I very much enjoy it, so let's get started. Congratulations. I need to do like a Russian voice. Le, the, the October Labour Party is complete. Your name was pulled. Is that, is that Russian? I don't know. For immediate placement, report to Ministry of Administration. Uh, admission. At Crestin Border Checkout. An apartment will be provided for you, your family in East Crestin. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Glory to... I've never even bothered trying to learn this thing, this place's name, like the country we live in. After six long years, the borders are finally open. So, they better get employing some border workers. So, here we go. November 23rd, 1982. Ministry of Admission, uh, welcome to your new position at the checkpoint. Stamp passport, entry visa, and return documents to entry. Uh, entry is restricted to only citizens of our own place, deny all foreigners. Uh, so you've got a bit of uh, information here. So let me just put this away down here. So basically, this is uh, this is how you stamp passports. And let's, I'm just showing you the best way. So you get given a set of instructions on what to do. And then people turn up here, papers please. Here's the passport. You are from Azrostokia or whatever the country name is. So you are approved entry, and it's as simple as that. For the, I mean that's the very first person. So we have one rule enabled, and then we hit next. So we send another person across. Let's have a look. Papers, please. Checkpoint is smaller than I expected. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not from this country, so you are denied. Yes, only. Astazakians? I don't know. Only A's. Uh, well, I'm sorry you've waited a long damn time, but you're not getting in. That's not a, paper, a passport from this country. So the best way to describe this game is it's like uh, the old speech acting game I went to the shops, where you get given a... Um, uh, Alright, I have to explain that now. So if no one's ever played I Went to the Shops or whatever it's called, it's basically... Um, oh, what is it? It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Oh, that's a bit foreboding. Uh, so this, the game I was talking about, uh, I went to the shops, is uh, an acting game. I used to play it back in like primary school, where you would uh, you would say, I went to the shops and bought a loaf of bread. And the second person would say, I went to the shops and bought a loaf of bread and something else. So every time, some, every time it went to a new person, they added something on. It's occasionally called X, Y, Z, because someone says, I went and bought X, someone, I went and bought Y, I went and bought Z, and then you have to try and remember it for as long as possible. And that's sort of like this game, because you start out with very simple rules, like uh, today the only rule is only people from this country are allowed back in, and um, are allowed into the country, so it's very simple to start with. And uh, I actually, I've played this for about five or six hours, it's just really like addictive. This I can already tell is the right passport. So if you look down the bottom, Astrostokia or whatever. I, I really don't care about pronunciation. Uh, let's see, you've got a clock down here which tells you the time of day. Pe uh, you only work from 6 till 6, that's the right passport. Welcome in. You've got uh, this right here which is important. This is the audio transcript. Uh, because people occasionally say things while you're looking at stuff over here, Papers, please. That's the right one. So if I just pull this out, it says uh, audio transcript. Nothing. Because no, nothing's really been said. 
glory to this country. So the audio transcript keeps track of what's being said and by who. And down here you have your rule book, which gives you some basic, like you've got your basic rules, then you've got um, more advanced stuff. Oh, day's end. See you later, guys. Come back at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So there we go, the first day. And now this is where you manage your expenses. You get paid $5 for every person you correctly do in the day. And you have to pay rent, food, and heat. You have a wife, a son, a mother-in-law, and an uncle. And say you, uh, you don't have food one day, they get hungry. And if they're hungry like two days in a row, I think they can die. And if they're ill and you don't give them medicine, they can die. So you really need to um, do as many people as possible. Uh, entry restricted restrictions relaxed. Foreigners are now admitted. So I'll have new information here. So it's the next day. And this game can be... Uh, I mean, I see how some people could think this game is repetitive. Uh, foreigners with valid passports are permitted to enter, uh, to enter. Your booth's inspection hardware is now installed. So that's actually quite important. So, see this down the bottom here? This allows you to highlight two areas and inspect them to make sure they're the same. Okay, um, so as far as I can tell, that looks the same. So if I do this and say the face and the picture in the face, and it says they're matching, so uh, they should that should be a valid passport. And this is really the first day in which you can actually fuck up properly. And fucking up gets you uh, deductions on your wage, so you have less money for your family. Papers, please. That looks legit. Um, it doesn't. Yeah, there's nothing really too much to worry about. It's basically just make sure their passport is in date because if it's expired, then ah bollocks, invalid exp expiration date. I didn't even see that. So I've just been reprimanded basically. Let's see, this expires on the 84, so that's in that's in date for another two years, yeah. Got a lovely passport there, love. Says you're female and everything. So it basically comes down to checking the fine details to make sure everything's legit. And it gets extremely hard at like day 20, 30. Hurry up, you're meeting the bus. Uh, expiration date, the 4th. Same face. Says you're male, everything looks legit. There's your passport. Go and meet your fucking bus. Get in my country, you cunt. So let's see, what do we have here? Papers, please. I'm hoping for something glaringly obvious so I can show you guys this. So that looks like the same sort of picture, so let's let her in. I'm actually looking for something... Ah, bollocks, what did I get? I, I knew it, I got invalid issuing city. Hello handsome, you look bored. You want a good time, come and see us. Ooh, a whore club, nice. So um, each passport, each country has a certain set of cities which can issue passports. So for this uh, Aristoxian passport, Paradisna is one of the places that can issue it, so right there. Um, I'm just gonna check those faces. Yeah, they're the same, okay. And what happened was the, uh, the passport I just checked and got this citation for didn't have the same um, issuing city so it had the wrong issuing city written in it which I should have thought I should have found so this is the Red Eagle passport and an issuing city is Scal yep so that's legit same face um, you're not female my friend bollocks someone's running um, quick shoot him down shoot him down get him don't let anything bad happen Oh! Oh! Terrorist attack! Oh! Fuck! That guy's dead! The day was shut, cut short by a terrorist attack. Progress is saved at the start of each day. Okay. So today, I only managed to do four people, which means I got paid $20. And my outgoing is $50. So, um, if I want food and heat, I'm going to be cutting into my savings and only have $10 left. So I'm going to go without food tonight to save a bit of money. Uh, collet chain agitators suspected. More guards, more scrutiny. So it looks like... Um, there is actually a backstory to this, by the way. But the backstory doesn't really matter. Uh, all foreigners require a valid entry ticket. So here we go, we're already getting some new information. 
Uh, so, so there's more stuff coming on. So basically, what I usually do is have this open on the first page. Uh, okay, mail, in date. It's valid on 2.11.25, 82.11.25. That looks good to me. Welcome to my country. And then you must make sure to give them back all their um, their information as well. So here it tells you your current rules. Papers, please. Um, ah, here we go. So what you do, he didn't give me a um, an entry ticket. So foreigners require an entry ticket. I click there. Discrepancy and interrogate. Foreigners must present an entry ticket. Oh, sorry, I have it here. So you do. 82.11.5. Mail, in date. Everything looks good. There you go, my friend. So some people are just forgetful. And they uh, they just forget to bring a ticket. Or they forget to um, put their ticket up on the side. Hey there. I can make you happy any time. Man, I'm really getting hit on a lot in this. Uh, let's see, female, 11.25, everything looks good. Actually, the issuing city I'm not too sure about, it's the red one. Uh, no, it's not, it's the brown box one. Issuing city of Hehane, yeah, uh, fair enough, no. Come on, get your ass in my country, uh, we need more whores. Come to Pink Vice, ask for Ava. I, I don't think the name on the passport was Ava. Hello, my friend. Papers, please. Uh huh. Let me. Your face looks a bit different. No? Okay. Apparently, it's fine. Uh, 11.25. Mm, everything looks good here. Um, it. Basically, the game comes down to the longer you play it, the more you can learn. See, I might have gotten the issuing city on that passport wrong. That might have not been the right city. It was. Good. I'm lucky to still have a job. Well, thank you. Issuing city of Over Vonach for Aristokian passport. No, that's legit. Cool. So, um, basically, if you play long enough, you will start learning, like, which passports are which, and then from uh, here, you can, like, click on the name and take you to that page so you can save time. Um, mm -hmm. 82, 12, 10. That's not today's date. It's only valid on that one date. So, there's discrepancy here, interrogate, this ticket is for another day, it's my mistake, and now I have to deny her, because her entry ticket is valid for a different day other than today. So it starts off with only a few rules, and more and more get added each day. Uh, wow, you look like a terrorist. Uh, 2.11.25, passport's in date, uh, this is a Kalechian passport. Hmm. I don't trust collections. What's the issuing city? Vidor. Okay. Everything looks legit. Collections, by the way, are the is the uh, the guys who are suspected of causing that terror attack yesterday. What we got here? Oh, I love this guy. Papers, please. Okay, here we go. Uh, right. He has not given us any papers. So um, entrance must have a passport. Discrepancy. Where's your passport? Passport? It's so great. I don't require a passport, right? A passport is required. Oh, okay, I hear ya. I come back again. Uh, that guy um, is actually a returning character. Uh, I've seen him about seven different days. Papers, please. Oh, oh, hang on a fucking minute. That is not your face. Your picture is different. I had surgery. Really? You had surgery? Well, right now I don't have the ability to check. So I I think just because of that I'm turning him away. And I might that might have been the wrong thing to do. I might get a citation for that. But I haven't unlocked fingerprinting yet. I think I get that at the end of today. Uh, I didn't get a citation, so that was the right thing to do. Uh, everything looks legit here. Uh, 1125. 21125. Yeah, come on in. Your documentation is all correct. Cause no trouble. I have a feeling, yeah, invalid issuing city. I missed it. Fuck. I always miss invalid issuing city. 
Uh, Great Rapide is the value which issuing city for that passport. I am aware of that. And everything else looks fine, so come on in. Oh, fuck! See, I missed something as simple as the wrong gender. It's so easy to miss. 82, 11, 20. Your passport, ma'am, is out of date. This document has expired. You did not just renew it. Sorry, you did not just renew it. You are leaving because your document is out of date. So, yeah, I missed a simple one like gender. That's ridiculous. Papers, please. Uh, is that really a male? Apparently it is. Uh, Paradonsia. I don't know if that's the right issuing city. It is. Yep. Cool. So, yeah. If you played more, you would um, you would generally learn other things, like you'd learn which issuing cities belonged to which place. Oh, my son is sick and he needs medicine. But I did get through 11 people today. That's pretty damn good. So... If I can spend all of the money I earned today in, to get fucking... Everyone's hungry, so let's try this. Get rid of the heat, because I, I need to save up some money. So the government blames lax immigration on the black market for the black market. Well, fuck you! I got two citations yesterday, and that was just like invalid gender. Uh, Aristocian citizens must show their ID card. Foreigners must must secure a present and valid entry permit. Okay, foreigners need an entry permit now. That's going to be interesting. So now we have a lot more stuff to look at. So if we look at this, uh, actually this is a perfect example. Let's see. Uh, I am immigrating, so his purpose is immigrate. Excellent. And now we can check the passport ID matches and the, the name matches. Everything seems legit. The date, uh, 2 12 24. That is out of date. No, it's not. It's enter by. My bad. It's not out of date. Sorry. Okay, everything looks fine to me. So you start getting a lot more stuff to look at. I've already got five or six things to check. What do we have today? Who are you? Favors, please. Uh, transit. I'm sorry. Transit forever. So, there's a discrepancy right there. Your length of your stay is different. Of course, I remain for a couple of days. Okay. So, there doesn't appear to be a problem there because uh, once he's actually said, oh, yeah, I'm only here for a couple of days, the game's just like, no, it's cool, it's cool, he is only here for a couple of days. Check the names. Okay. Everything looks legit. Let's sign this passport and let him on through. Come on in, my friend. I just have to check something. It was red, wasn't it? Uh, Mugadels. Yeah, that was the right issuing city. Awesome. Who have we got here? So let's have a look. This. Ah, you have an entry ticket. Right, I'm sorry, but today. Uh, all foreigners require an entry permit. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. The rules say you have to have an entry permit today. Bullshit. I paid good money for ticket. Well, you paid good money to the wrong fucking person. Papers. Purpose, immigration. Let's just make sure these codes match. Yep. And the date, uh, 1225. His passport is still in date. Sex says he's male. So you need to start looking at a, a few things very quickly. Like straight away, make sure the number of the passports match and the name matches. Then make sure the, um, the gender matches. Duration of stay, six months, that's okay. 2.10.29. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your entry permit has expired. We only got entry permits yesterday, or today, and you've already 
got one that's over a month out of date. I'm sorry, but your son is going to be lonely. Your son is not going to get to see his mother. Sorry. You actually, after a while, you do start to feel quite bad. Uh, right away, no passport. So that's a thing to tag. No passport. Interrogate where is passport. What is passport? Temporary entry visa to be used for denials only. Well then. Entry denied, my friend. You don't have a passport, so I just deny your entry on a piece of paper. In we go. What we got now? Hello, ma'am. Can I have your papers? Okay. Immigration. 12, 17. Everything appears to be in date. Just check these numbers match. That name is wrong. I can tell that already. The names do not match. I have two different names. Fingerprint. Please put your fingerprints on here. Apparently you have no known aliases on your official fingerprint data. But your fingerprints match. So the person sitting in front of me is definitely... Hmm. Well, the passport number matches. So I'm just going to say OK and let her in and see if that I get a citation for that. It really does become about gut instinct sometimes. Alias does not match record. Invalid name. There we go. I have passport. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. That is all bullshit. But there's nothing I can really do. So I'm just going to... There's nothing I can choose directly. So let's just say no. There you go. Cobrastan is not a real country. Oh, okay. You don't like passport? I understand. I come back again with better one. That passport looked like it had been drawn by a retarded five-year-old. Papers. Uh, where's your ID card? Uh, citizens must have ID cards. Oh, okay, you do have an ID card. Lovely. Uh, now we want to check that the name matches. Uh, the weight, 47 kilograms, 47 kilograms, everything looks okay. Uh, wait, that is in, that's valid as well, it's not out of date. So everything looks good here, and you may go through. I want to show you guys, um, just quickly after this day, papers please, I'll show you something, one of the truly hard levels. Transit, two days, uh, 12, no that's good. Make sure the passport numbers match. And make sure the name matches. The photo definitely matches. Gender matches. So I'm okay with letting you in. In you go, my friend. In you go. But basically, once they get past here, you find out if you made any mistakes. Which I didn't. Lovely. Good else. Passing through. A couple of days. Um, hang on a fucking minute. Your picture's wrong, mate. Fingerprint. There we go. I cannot verify your fingerprints. I know nothing about this. Well, for now, because I don't have a detention centre, I'm just going to have to send you away, my friend. I cannot let you in if your fingerprints do not fucking match. Come back tomorrow at 6 a.m. So there you go. That is the end of day four. The rent has gone up. Oh, man. So I made 50 and I spent all 50 of it. Sleep. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quit to main menu here. And I'm going to boot up a story, like, really far in. So let's see. Well, my furthest is 24 days. And I had a lot, a lot of trouble around here. So let's just, let's go somewhere not so hard. So, uh, 17 days. Let's just boot this up and see how everything's going. Just, I want to show you guys some of the, uh, the harder puzzles later on. So, as you can see, we have a lot more, uh, security everywhere. Um, if the alarm sounds, I can activate a thing. Hello, who are you? I've been given 
a, an award for sufficient sufficiency. What's going on? Of course, I remember this. Do good to meet you too, my friend. Thank you. This guy is um, actually the new security guard who sits out here. We've had quite a few terrorist attacks. I'll tell you that. Do I have? Uh, I do have some shortcuts and some keyboard shortcuts. So let me just refresh myself on the uh, current laws. Entry passports, diplomatic. Uh, okay. Remain for two weeks. You've got your <laughs> description. Overweight. Eighty-two, twelve, eleven. That's in date. Um, are you really female? Fair enough, you are. Uh, so I actually currently have uh, a lot more keyboard shortcuts unlocked. You actually unlock them by playing the game and buying them, which is kind of nice. So it means that even if you know the shortcuts, you can't use them until you get the, to the point in the story where you can. So no weapons, diplomatic, foreigner required ID. Oh, this guy is part of a cult. Uh, the border attacks are not done by his operation. They are trying to weaken our government. The fuck is this? I actually have no idea what this is. It looks like the queue. Okay. Wait, 51 kilograms. I want to show you guys some interesting stuff like... Um, not everything appears to be matching. What about the names? Do they match? Names match. Come on in, Shalee. Your height doesn't match as far as I'm concerned. Says 170, but you're bobbing up and down to like 180. But I don't know how to uh, report that. So let's just let her in and see what happens. Glory to Azastrokia, indeed. Glory indeed, my female friend. Glory indeed. Oh, apparently there was no problem. Purpose of your trip, she's coming for a visit. Duration of stay, two months, that's all legit. Female, that's the right city, 64 kilograms. I'm going to say everything is fine and just let you in. I'm going to try and get through a few people so I can show you guys some interesting stuff. But the game gets, uh, the puzzles get a lot more intricate as it goes along. And uh, everything gets a lot more confusing, and it's it's so much fun. I played it for literally five hours straight. Uh, stay a couple of weeks. Transit. Did he say he was here for transit? Yeah. Let me just check these numbers match. Okay, and the name. That matches. Expiration date 12-22, 12-31. Every expiration date is in order. I'm pretty sure that issuing city is right, so let me let you through. Go on through, my friend. Hmm. Nope. Invalid description, invalid thumbprint. The fuck is this? Um, do you have an ID supplement? I do have your pass there, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Yes, this is an outrage. This is a violation of my rights. I will not lay down for your corrupt abuse. Expect to read about this. I hate the press. This looks like it goes up there. Like it's the queue. Uh, well, first off, that says you have long hair. Okay, but I cannot see that being your picture. No, really, that is. Tell me, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, hang on, let me get the click the right two fucking boxes, and there and there, everything's legit. Uh, twelve ten, that's in date. Everything's in date, and as far as I can tell, everything's right. Let's let you on through and see what I got wrong. It, it gets to the point where basically no one has uh, legit details. Everything, everyone has something wrong. Um, uh, citizens must have ID cards. Where's your ID card? I never got one. Sorry, I can't let you in. 
take your fucking passport and piss off. Entry is not guaranteed. Next. Who's next? Uh, hello. What do we have here? So you're a female, are you? I'm sorry. You're claiming you're female. Right, so this is a feature you unlock after a couple of days. It's the scanner. And it's basically like an x-ray booth. Uh, I'm sorry. You're female. Wow. Oh, wow. The years of not being kind to you. I... I Oh my, I am so sorry, ma'am. Here, go straight into my wonderful country. Holy fuck, apparently that was female. Wow. That's like you saying you're male. Uh, you have a job here. Duration of stay, a year. Work, one year. Um, that's in date. The holder is this name. Right, the holder's name is right. 2-12-21, that's in date. Everything, the numbers look the same. 56 kilograms, you look right. Everything looks good on there. And that looks like a legit passport and everything. So, welcome to the country. So you start getting a lot of um, clutter. Like, oh, what? Forged work pass. How was I supposed to know that? Transit. So like the basic is three documents right now, which is still quite a lot of documents. That's uh, quite a lot of stuff to look at all in, all at once. Make sure these are the same. Everything looks good there. Transit 14 days. Uh, 12, 18. Alright, everything looks good. Uh, welcome to our glorious country. I'd love to show you guys me getting to shoot somebody. But I don't think there's going to be time. No one's going to try and terrorist attack us today, apparently. Purpose of your trip, you are in transit. Couple of days. Yay. No one is, like, trying to smuggle drugs or anything across the border. Which just disappoints me. Right, that, that matches. That matches. Twelve... Uh, that matches, that matches, everything looks good, come on in. I probably got something wrong there as well, wouldn't be surprised. So you, if you get three violations, the third one they actually dock your wages on. You come here to work, uh, 12 weeks, that is three months, make sure these names match. No, no. There we go. Uh, everything matches. Names match on all of them. Damn it. I was hoping for something really interesting. So uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, such as this key. If someone tries to terrorist attack you, you can use the key to unlock a gun, uh, a tranquilizer gun, and shoot them. So yeah, um, there's a whole load of stuff. Like these are the things I've unlocked. I'm not sure what these are. I think this is like where we're living right now. Uh, I, I have the possibility to move up to a higher class house, which makes my guys happier. I got one penalty for five dollars, and uh, this is a, a rare token that I've done by doing a secret mission in the game. Uh, so there is an awful lot of stuff you can do in this game. There's a hell of a lot, and the puzzles keep getting more and more complex as you go. And um, I just wanted to put this video out there to say I would recommend this game to anybody who loves puzzle games, but um, make sure if you're going to play it, like, make sure you've got a good attention span. Because, like you saw, I missed that one guy's passport said he was female when he was male, and I got a citation for it. And um, there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff I would have loved to show you, but I can't make it happen. So. Uh, yeah, you're just going to have to play along, uh, you're just going to have to play the game yourself and see how it goes. I bought this on Steam for like £4 or so, that's like what, 6 $7, I don't know, I don't know what your dollars are worth nowadays. But yes, uh, I would highly recommend Papers, Please to anybody who likes puzzle games, and um, I mean the music of the, music of the game is fantastic, I love the music. 
uh, it, the game has a sort of really dark sense of humour sometimes, and the longer you play, you actually, like, your main character says almost nothing character building, but you start to learn what sort of person you are by playing. So uh, there's times when people will bribe you to let them into the country, but you, you've you already seen they've got drugs, like sellotape to their ass crack or something. And it, it basically, um, it's sort of like a moral choice system in the game, but it doesn't lead anywhere. It's just like, if you let him in, you might get a citation, but you can take a bribe, so you have more money for your family. You know, your kid's birthday's coming up and he wants those expensive crayons, so that's actually a thing from the game. So yes, um, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little like check out episode just for me to show off a game, and uh, yeah, um, I'd love to uh, I'd love to know if any of you actually bought this game, or if any of you really like the look of it, and uh, peace out, yeah.